what's going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so i hope everybody having a good week thus far this wednesday yesterday i was whooped after monday after doing all that after all that burning i needed a whole day of rest so now today is wednesday and we are going to get these two stands in place we're gonna get tanks on them today we're gonna do all that also a surprise I didn't expect it. I thought about it as soon as I uh, came into the garage this morning. Once I move these tanks away from the wall, I'm actually going to go ahead and sand all of that. I went ahead and put up another um, very thick layer of mud on that wall. So once it dries, because the tank probably will come to about right here or maybe right here. Nonetheless, once it dries, I'll sand that section and then I'll paint it. So the remainder, I'm going to sand that and I'm going to paint it today. We're pretty much there with everything. I already put the second layer of mud up on all the on all the um, the areas that needed the mud. I'm not going to keep prolonging this, trying to get this perfect when there's no way to get this the way that I want it to look or the way that I know it should look or would have been able to look if I would have been able to do it the right way. So uh, with that being said, for example, you know, this stand right here, this 225, it's going to be very hard to really do a thorough job getting around that stand with paint and things like that. So I'm going to do the best I could. And that's not perfect. I'm not going to be happy with that. I'm going to get to a point where I'm satisfied. So that's with everything else. So as long as I'm satisfied with it, I can deal with it. That's all that matters. So um, when we move, because the plan is and the next, within the next few years, two to three years, we're going to try to save as much as we can. And then we are going to, um, I'm going to have to show you this. We're going to try to save as much as we can, and we're going to try to build our next house. Luna is right here in this 20 gallon. That's insane. So I was saying that they can't get out, but clearly they can't. Mister's not out, but Luna is. Luna is the escape artist. So with that being said, I need to add some more levels of uh, protection. That's fine. One. I'm going to do it just like that. That's insane that she got out. I was, I was absolutely sure that she couldn't, but that's all right. Let me show you Luna. Look at this. What's up, Luna? So I don't know how she got out, but you know what? We're going to make sure that that can't happen again. So I will be adding some, uh, some more walls to this right here. 100%. She's not going to get out. Like she's not going to be able to get out like that again. That's for sure. So before we take her out, let me show Aida. Look in the 20 gallon. Let me look, look up top at the 20 gallon. Go look. The 20 gallon. Oh. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> right. Is she alive? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Just fell in there and. You were recording? Or. I was I was doing a video and I looked and was like, what the, the hell? Fucking Luna. Right, the skate artist. That's why she got the name Luna. That's how she right. got it. Did you say that in the video? No, but that's how she, not, 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 well, I was recording, so yeah, that's how she got the name Luna. It's because she a lunatic. 
she's escaped so many times. Right. Yep. See me. No, like the clothes. It don't matter shit. Can't believe you. So yeah, like I said, <sighs> gotta add some more walls because this is that wasn't okay. I don't even know how she got out, but I'm assuming that she but found I she went in the water. Right. <laughs> she could have went down. Downtown. And she I don't even know. That's the thing. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't. I didn't expect. To, I didn't expect her to be out. All right, babe. I also got started on emptying out this tank right here. I used all that water to water all of our plants. So the plan is. I'm going to un I'm going to take out all the water from the 125 on the left side and then I'll move this couch out the way. Then I'm going to move this 125, put it in the center right here in this space and then work on the wall. Put the water from this one in the one that's going to be sitting right here. That way I could drain both of them because I don't want to sit up there and just waste 250 gallons of water. So that's why I'll just basically, um, you know, just waste the 125. And then I'll just, it is what it is. Take that hit. All right, so let's go ahead and finish draining this 225. Then we'll move also, how much can you see? All right, so let me get this out the way because I need to move the couch. So I need to give, my, give myself some room. So this is probably going to be a long video because we're going to get a lot done, but uh, I know you could appreciate that we're going to get a lot done in this long video. That was easy enough. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and start the drain. I'm gonna actually use these dollies right here. This pump is gonna make this pretty fast. pump isn't working I think the reason why the pump is acting up is because when I was draining the tank with Miami she likes to knock things around and sand probably got in the motor so let me see if I gotta free up any sand or see what I gotta do 
make sure that the motor is not seized up. Try this again. Nope. Gotta do it the old fashioned way. No surprise there, right? If it was working, that would have been just too easy. Too fast, too easy. Back to the old fashioned, the oldie but goodie. I should have started this this morning. That way it would have been drained by now. All right, so five hours later. All right, so let me go ahead and drain this tank. I'll be back. So since I had so much time on my hands waiting on this tank to siphon, went ahead and took the bottom off. Just needed a little uh, Phillips screwdriver. And then I had to work this. I already knew that that was the issue. Look at this. See all that sand? So I don't know if it's going to work once I get all this sand up out of here, but I'll try. When usually when this happens, it burns out the motor, but we'll see right now. I knew that was it. So let's just get that sand up out of there. All right. Yes. <laughs> nasty so basically I'm just working the motor spinning it in there making sure that it's moving freely looking good all right it don't feel that great but hopefully it's enough to work Because we don't have time for this. This is gonna take all day. Like I said, five hours later. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, let's get these screws out first. And I'm gonna get the sand out of the inside of this. Trash can probably has about 15 gallons in here. Took all that time for 15 gallons. Make sure it's uh, lined back up good which it is. It's better work, better work. Oh 
old school right now. Fill a screwdriver. No drill. I don't want to risk overdoing it with that drill. So, you know, just nice little wrist work. what they call elbow grease you ever heard of that i know the ogs know exactly what i'm talking about but the young folk the real young folk i might not know what elbow grease mean you might feel like somebody disrespecting you all right getting close getting close by the time i'm done screwing this in it's gonna be time to dump that water 30 gallon garbage can. So at best we have 30 gallons. If this bad boy right here works, it's gonna really speed things up. That's why I'm taking the time to do this. Got a blue jay in the yard. One thing about being here, we got a lot of different insects, big ones. Um, then we also have a lot of different birds here. I like that. Come on. Y'all think it's gonna work? Take a second and let me know in the comments if you think this pump is going to work after that. Honestly, for me, I'm about 50-50. I feel like it should work, but who knows? Really depends on how many, how long it was running with that sand in there. That's where, that's where it really counts. So, you know what? Let's dump this first. And then we'll come on back to figure out whether or not it's working. So, uh, I'll go dump this. And I'll see you right back here. All right, let's see. Let's see. If that little cleaning was the ticket, hopefully. Oh, that was the ticket. That was it. Oh, man. It, got, it, it was sitting in the sand again. Okay, well, still working. See how fast this is? You hear it? You hear how fast that is? It's looking kind of dark in here because of that, uh, that curtain. That 225 was getting way too much algae because it was sitting right in front of that window. But I don't like it that dark. I need to actually get a blind so I could open and close it every day. Because I don't want to keep it closed like that. It's way too dark in here. There we go. Yeah. She don't even realize what she has coming to her. The fish room been in disarray for a while. I cannot wait to get it back clean, but I can't wait to see these tanks on these stands. I always put so much on my plate today. Like, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and sand these walls and throw a paint up here real quick. Two coats, not three. I'm not gonna worry about this wall yet. I just wanna get this wall out the way because once I put these stands over here, that's it. I need to build another stand for this 150. So when I do that, that's probably when I'll go ahead and, uh, and paint this accent wall. Or I could just paint the accent wall and go around the stand and then, you know, when I rebuild the stand, I could go ahead and, you know, then do the little touch up because I already had a paint. Let me go dump another one. 
I know a few people say frost the back of that tank. I might just throw some uh, window film on the, on the back of it, see how that looks. But I'm not really sweating it, to be honest with you. There's so many different things I could do with it long term. I might build a little, um, like my own, like log in there or, you know, put together a log and build a log. You know, kind of like how Aqua Decor be doing. I might build something like that myself. You know, 3D background, something like that. You know, so a lot of different ideas, options, should I say. Because I haven't really tripped too much up off of this. I don't have like a ton of ideas where I'm like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do this. But when I'm worried about it, when the time comes, I'll address it. I'm not worried about it getting put up here and then I can't do it after the fact. Either I'm going to put the window film on it right now. I'll probably do that anyway. I'll probably do that anyway. Let you see how it'll look. It might look all crazy though because I got those pieces of glass like stacking on both sides. So, you know, whatever. No matter what, she's getting the upgrade. She's going from a 150 to, to a 225. That's, that's dope. That's dope. She deserves it. Going to upgrade her sump. It's not going to go on top of her tank. Probably go, it might. It might. I'm actually thinking that what I'll do is I'll build like a little um, like a little stand right here and then I'll put the filter that's going to take care of both of these 125s and then I'll do the same thing over here if I have room because I think it's you know if I have if I if literally I can't fit any tanks in like an eyeball space that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna just use it as just negative space and not utilize it so if that's the case I'll build a stand right there Put a, put a cylinder, garbage can, something like that. And then I'll do filtration for both the tanks. And then the same thing over here for the 225. And then I'm gonna put the 60 gallon under it. I didn't tell you guys that. So I have a 60 gallon that I'm gonna put under the 225. I was thinking of putting this 150 down there, but the 150 is kind of tall. So, um, you know, I don't know. I might do it, but I didn't want to do it. I was gonna make a four foot right here. And then once the 60, once I built that stand, then I throw the 60 under this 150. So they both, you know, four foot tanks. Throw them right there. And then I'll, I'll put a 125 under the 225. That's what I'm, I'm sticking with that. That was the original plan. That's what I'm sticking with. Much better idea, right? We got to dump another one. I'm actually going to need to remove the decor pretty much everything to get this tank moved it's heavy especially with the sand so while I'm taking that water out I'm about to grab this other dolly right here got another trash can And this is so I can take out this decor. You know, I really wish that I was upgrading these guys to a 225. They don't need the space, but uh, still wish I was upgrading them to a 225. All right, getting kind of low on it on the water so so I don't burn out this motor I'll just go ahead and uh, let this sit right here so basically what I'll do is once I get this decor out of here I'll put something in here that I can set probably like a t like a tile I'll put it in there so I can set the pump on it so it won't suck up any of this sand and we won't have to you know, do the sand, do that all over, open it up and, and clean out the motor. You know what? Let's just throw this one in here for the time being. I'm about to show you a piece of rock right here. I've had this piece of rock for six years. It's a, 
Oh, no, this isn't the one. My bad. The one I had for six years is in that tank. This one right here, I bought a couple months ago for 150 bucks. <laughs> That's a dope piece of rock. Where did the razor go? Right here. Razors get so rusty just sitting anywhere near an aquarium. Now this piece of, of driftwood, I've definitely had for a few years. All right, so now that's all the decor. We definitely gotta move that sump off, top, off the top of this thing. So that's the decor. Let's put something in there that I can set my, uh, where's the tile at? Right here. Oh, All right. I'm just going to set this tile in here. Perfect. Now, just set the pump on top of that. So if you didn't know that little trick, by all means, use it. Make sure my hands dry. Make sure your hands are dry before you ever plug in any plugs. Come on. There we go. So I had, had a little issue probably like with the pressure. So I had to take off the hose and herp and put it back. So, so to start working. The remainder should empty out real fast. This is coming along very quick. So as soon as we're done with this, we're immediately bringing this one and we're setting it up right here. I mean, record time fast. Getting it right in place. As soon as we done with that, I'm using this pump. I'm sending the water from here to this tank. Once this one is gone, move it out, sand paint this wall get these tanks in place, set them back. The thing is, if we don't get to moving the fish back over here, that's fine. That's why I want to set them up right here. Cause just in case I don't have enough time in my day today, it won't matter. But we're going to try to get it all done today. Like I said, this is a long day for me, but you got to stick around for me for an hour if you want to see this final reveal. And I appreciate you for doing so. I appreciate you for kicking it with me for an hour. A little bit of the remainder of the water coming out and it's, it's actually a bit. So what I plan on doing is I'm about to make room and put this on the, the bottom bottom because right now it's on the top of some sand. All right, so here we are. I'm not playing no games. I'll to use this dustpan. Putting all that sand in here. And then, about to do some, I'll take care of this the right way. Kind of just wanted you to see how long it takes to get the sand out of a 125 with say a, a, a little dustpan just in case you're curious
But we're gonna have to get this outside right now. Uh, and, uh, let's get this off. I know it's gonna be a whole bunch of people that's gonna be like, that's not how you do it. Man, I don't care, whatever. Now that used to be smoother, but I'm a little, a little weak, a little weak mofo right now. So that was, that was actually hard. That was heavy. I'm not gonna lie. That just revealed some holes that needs to be patched up. So while I'm saying I patched that, let's get to seeing what this wall gonna look like. Rinse this out. Hey, right back. Just like that. Before I put this tank on this stand, let's go ahead and move the stand over. All right, so we finally got that mess cleaned up. The only thing I have to do now is actually level that before I put any more water in that, because uh, otherwise it could end up on the floor. And then what was all this for? What's the purpose? Nothing. Got these shims. We're gonna level. Yeah, man. All right, let's first get this tank back up there. So, one way of doing this, I'll show you right now. It's real easy. Grabbing it. And just setting it on the stand. It don't get no easier than that. It's the easiest way to do it strong enough. Maybe it's not the easiest way, but if you can't do it, you can do it. Otherwise, get help. All right. Slow off. All right. All right there is good. Right there is terrible. Woo. Off a great deal. All right. Now that is something that I don't like. And then trying to get back there. Right, let's see. <laughs> How far off am I? That's strange, so.
that actually level it out, leveled it out a little bit. It's good enough to hold some water. That's crazy. All right, so let me just. Yeah, that's. And that's where it was really dipped. That's crazy, yeah. So it just has a little drop or something like right here. But nonetheless, you know what we gotta do now, right? I was telling you we're gonna sit up there and drain the water from here and put it right into there. So that's what we're about to do. There we go. Just like that. All right. Try the hands off before I plug it in, like I told you. I'm gonna lead by example on that every time. Trust that. I'm not playing around with electricity. Just like that. So now we're gonna drain this down. Move the fish over. And then work on that wall. All right, so I'm sure you could guess that this is gonna take some time. So let me go ahead and get this filled up. Once this is filled up, we're gonna move them over and I'll be right back. So let's uh let's do that that magic that that YouTube. As you guys can see, I got this tank more than half full. Funny thing is, this tank was full. It was full of water. It was up to here. If you look over here, we're about right here. We only have like six inches of water left, maybe actually like four. So that lets you know 100% that that little rock and all the decor in there really take up a lot more room than you think. Definitely took up about 40 gallons, 50 gallons of water. But anyway, so let's hurry up and get these guys over into this tank temporarily so we could get this tank out the way and we could fix this wall and then we could paint the wall, fix the wall, paint the wall. And then we could go ahead and get the stands over here and set everything up. Harley, Harley come here. bad girl. Yeah, time. Probably. All right, all right. So she might not be a bad girl. She might have just been the alarm, the warning. The Carter just woke up sign. All right, so um, we got a lot of rock. Don't have nowhere else to put it, so I guess I will set it over here. It is what it is. It's not what I want, but where else am I gonna put it for now? Here we go, last two pieces. What? Surprise. You, Houston? Don't ever give me no problems. Well, the fest they got me. All right, so. Let's get the rest of this water out. Let's set all this other stuff up over here temporarily. And then uh, move this bad boy out the way. Attack this wall. You already know. You already know the rest. All right, looks like we're, uh, looks like we're almost done. So now, let me unplug this. What I need to do now is I wanna move this tank away from the wall so I could get the filter out. And then, uh, we definitely gotta pull the rest of the water, but not yet. Let me, uh, let me just set this right here. It's okay, they don't, they don't mind. Set that right there. All right, even better. All right, 
so move this away. See how heavy this is. No, it wasn't. It wasn't heavy like that. I was just messing around. The styrofoam with all my rock. I got so much rock down here. Can't, y'all can't even see that. Baby, show them. Oh, that rock. All oh, that rock. All right, baby, just have me mess around. All that rock we got right there. Okay, so now let me go ahead and just move this away from the wall. Pull out. All right, now help me out, baby. Give me just a moment. We'll be right back after these messages. All right, so what's left is draining this tank we're going to get this 125 out of here out that way that way and then <laughs> and then we are going to attack this wall you're included in that i said 60 minutes i said we're going to do an hour-long video so um like i said i'm looking at this and it's definitely not going to be the way that I want it to be in the end. So just as long as it's satisfactory, as long as it look good, look even better on camera. I'm good. Get this stuff plugged in. Huh? No. Nah. Right. There we are. So now all that's left to do is get this tank up out of here and then address the elephant in the room, which is that wall. And this beautiful tank don't have to be taken outside. Oh, it's heavy. So when I got it. so when you got a heavy tank, guys, and you gotta do this by yourself, and that's when you, you do like a little balancing act with this bad boy. You're gonna make, basically, just try to make sure you only have to deal with half the weight at a time. So when you're doing that, See how it's still on there? It's balanced, centered real good. That's that. All right, so like I said, it's basically still balanced on there, right? Just like that. And so this is light, that's light. So now all you do is you bring it down, bring her down, right onto the dolly, and then you can just hold it just hold it right. And then you bring it down. I got a lot of stuff in the way too. So if you had an open space, look at that. If you had an open space, that right there would have been like effortless. But I have tank in the way, filter right here, stand in the way. But that's one way of doing that if you find yourself in a situation where you have to move down a tank by yourself. Always just find yourself working with half the weight. You know what I mean? I was playing around by, by picking up the 125, but you know, and that's because I was just messing around and whatever. Like I said, it, it didn't have it didn't have gravel in it or anything like that. I got it, babe. When you got to deal with gravel and all that stuff inside of it, water still, it's a lot heavier. So you got to take different measures. But do you see how I'm moving this around? Like I'm not, I'm not like super strong right now. I'm pretty weak, trust that. But it's just, it just comes from experience from having to lift and move weight around and do things by yourself. My job for seven and a half years was a facility manager of a, a company that had a building that was 75,000 square feet. It was just me and one other guy and the guy was 65 years old. Who do you think did all the heavy lifting and all that work? But you know what? I got the experience from that man. He was 64, 65, but he made sure that I got all those years of experience. He taught me everything he knew. So I learned enough to where I was able to not only be there for seven and a half years doing a damn good job, I was able to start my own business. So yeah, back to, the, back to this, look at that. Stand away from the wall. And I think this one's empty. It is. 
So, I wish I could just give this to somebody. Damn sure I don't want to just break it up into pieces. I thought we were going to offer up. Offer up. Yeah. yeah All right. Probably should move that out too. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Right. So guys, I hope thus far you have been enjoying this video. I hope you've learned some tips, some tricks. I hope I taught you something in this. I don't know how long it's been so far because I haven't edited a single thing, but I hope that you have learned something thus far. Hope it's making you want to continue watching this video because now the fun begins. We're about to sand this wall, paint this wall. As soon as that's done, we don't have nothing else to do but get these tanks on their stands in place so don't go nowhere make sure you've been hitting that make sure you've already hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already do it right now hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you're enjoying the content like the video i don't ever say this but come on now fish fam can we get this video to 500 likes it should be definitely possible. I get like a thousand views in a day. I mean, we should definitely get at least half of them to like the video. Can we do it? Let me see if we can do it. I hope we can do it. I'll let you know if we did it. Anyway, so we're going to take a quick break and I'll be right back with you. I'm sweaty and I'm tired. I got to take a break. I need something to drink. All right, now I'm done. It's nowhere near how I wanted it. But this just got everywhere. Let me show you. I've already started vacuuming the floor. I mean, everywhere. Look at this. Looks like an old man. So with that being said, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get it sanded over the two tanks over there. Because um, this makes one heck of a mess and I'm not certain on how that's going to get done. I have to figure that out. But I'm about to clean up this mess, vacuum this up, and i see you in Here's a second. Here's where we are with things right now. So I've sanded the walls down as much as I could. At this point, this is where I would throw on another layer of mud, one final coat of mud. And then, or some of these areas, they probably will still need like a couple more coats, especially like right there. So that being said, I mean, there's, it just made such a mess sanding this. I'm leaving it as is. I don't know how I'm going to do this area since it's right above these two tanks. I might just have to cover them up and just, you know, bite the bullet and, and go for it, which I probably will have to do. But what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do sanding applications. I'm not going to sand it multiple times. That was one and done. And each wall is going to be one and done. I tried to sand that area right here, but it's still a little wet because I patched it this morning. And so what happens when you try to sand mud that's not fully cured, it gunks up your sandpaper. This one is like three years old, didn't, didn't gunk up, it just tore up. This is what happens when you, when you over there sanding mud that's not fully dry. I was trying it, trying to rush, wanted to do it all. But you know what? It is what it is. I'll deal with this section when the time comes, but we're going to paint the rest of this. Because like I told you before, we're getting these tanks over here and set up today. So let's go ahead quickly. We gonna, I got this paint right here that I wanna use. It's like a brown. It's called Amazing Gray. So, I gotta get my roller. 
right, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's get to it. Let's not wait any longer. The moment we've all been waiting for. Hopefully that was good enough. This been sitting for like some years. Probably like five years, six years. <laughs> it worked. That was good. All right, so. Yeah. I'm doing some things that I typically wouldn't do. So you probably shouldn't follow how I'm doing it. When you're doing a job, make sure you got the proper time to do everything and do each step correctly. I'll probably put something else up there. Some kind of decor, because it looks like crap. This is not a good example of my work. I've never actually been in a situation like this where, you know, we got these tanks and we don't have time to really paint the wall, you know? So I'm making do. But nonetheless, you see what it is, you see what I'm doing. We are finally getting paint on the wall. So I like this color because it looks brown and then from another angle, it looks gray. Hence, amazing gray. Looks pretty amazing to me. All right, so let me go ahead and finish painting these walls and I'll be back with you. All right. All right, guys, so that is it. I got two coats of paint on the wall. That is it. I'm not putting on any more. Um, I did what I could. This section right here still got to get touched on. Let me show you. That section right there still got to get touched on once it dry. But as far as the wall, it looks good. I'm okay with that. Like I said, this is the fish room. We had to move everything in here up under duress emergency so the fact that we were able to still get this done it's all good i'm all for that so now what we need to do now is the fun part let's get the stands in here get these tanks on here and let's wrap it up right now i have right now i'm draining the remainder of that water out that 225 because that that tank is going on the stand tonight let's do it all right guys i'm gonna try to give you the best spot in the room oh we have the dollies so we're going to put the double 125s right there and then the 225 on the end i want to have the 225 near the light because i want to put some real plants inside of her tank i don't know if i'm going to need this dolly or not sorry about that i don't know if i'm going to need this dolly or not but I have it right there just in case. Get some gloves on. That tank is almost done. I told you we was gonna have a good day. I told you it was gonna be, I did say it was gonna be a long one, but I told you we were gonna have a good day. I told you we were gonna get that done. I know when I first started the video, you probably was like, oh, that's a lot. Probably not gonna get that done today, but by now some of y'all know, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. So, 
or at least I'm gonna try to do it. Correction, because sometimes you just never know. But for the most part, I'm gonna try to get done what I said I'm gonna get done. All right, so trying to, gotta move down that couch. I just pushed that like a football player. Got the couch out the way. Now, let's go ahead and get this stand right here. This stand is a beast, I'm telling you. I wanna show you the back of this, this stand for the 125. So this is for two 125s. I really want you to see the Pestmark stand that came with the 125s. It's insane how cheaply made they are. You know what? Let's go ahead and get it on the get it on the dolly. Let's not let's not overwork ourselves. I'm gonna have to be honest with you real quick. Sometimes doing these videos with you guys, for you guys, doing this with y'all, because sometimes I feel like <clears throat> y'all really be here with me doing some of this stuff. Well, at least watching. Clearly, that's how it has to work, and otherwise, it won't be comfortable uh, with these videos. Oh, let's hurry cut that off. Perfect, that's done. So, So like I was saying, you guys sometimes keep me on top of some of these things, like some of these things I feel like I can't lag on. I'm trying to lead by example. Woo. A little late for this but oh well what's going on all right so let's get this bad boy in place and then we're gonna measure so i'm gonna keep nice space right there right build a nice stand <clears throat> probably gotta take this carpet out i do it's all good Got my carpet, cut it right there. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to be, I didn't think I was gonna to have to remove the carpet tires. I, I would have did that already. Matter of fact, I didn't think they were gonna be issue. Otherwise I wouldn't even have done them in the first place. that done let's put it back in place and then level it that's good right there everything is in the way right now I tell you that Uh. 
All right. All right. I guess I should have went ahead and painted that. I'm not gonna really be able to get to it after the fact. All right, so with that being said, I'm about to go ahead and slap some paint on it because I really want to get that 225 up there tonight. Yeah, babe. I'm, I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna paint it. Now, could I find another paint? Oh, that roller I threw away. Looks like I'm about to bring that back. No. Right, so I'm about to just go ahead and paint it because we're not going to be able to get to it once this tank go up here. And I want it up here now. I told you I'd be impatient. That's why I said you may not want to do the things that I do. You might have way more patience than me. Good. Now it's all one color. Go, go, and I have that room to put. I'm gonna hold on to this. This just did. This just helped me out. So since it helped me out, I'll wash this brush, this roller, and I'll reuse it. I just typically hate washing rollers and brushes. All right, so let's level this thing. Let's level it, and you know what we gotta do after that. Matter of fact, before we do that, I gotta put this back up there. I definitely have to do something about that pillow, that sheet soon, but for now, it's right there. All right, so it's even. Y'all ready to get that 225 up here? Me too. Let's do it. We're about to get this 225 onto this four foot stand. This is a little challenging. I'm telling you this right now. It's definitely a challenge. A challenge that I'm up for. That secret sauce that I was telling you about earlier with only lifting up half the weight, that's what I plan to do. So we're gonna start by just going ahead and just, yeah. oh. we're gonna just get it on there like that. More shams. This is gonna be a challenge, guys. Like I told you earlier, definitely a shell of my former self for our strength wise. But we're gonna see if I could get this done. Yeah, let's get this on there better. That's four foot. That's almost, I gotta stand it up. That water is gonna come out once I stand it up. I don't want that water to come out in there. It's gonna be a mug. It's gonna be a mug.
tank is a beast. But so am I. So, so, I'm going to lift up this side. I want temp to lift up this side right here, put it up there, spin it. It's just, huh? No, it's a heavy, it's a heavy, it's a heavy tank. Huh? I at least want to try. Hey, what's happening the next day? So um, a lot went on last night. Ran out of this room, ran out of storage. Mike went did all kind of stuff. Lights went did all kind of stuff. So I had to finish up today. So today I made sure I got this stand fully level, did all that good stuff. Got this tank on top of this stand. That didn't happen last night. Unfortunately, I done ran out of time. There's things I got to do today. So I will not be moving forward with getting these tanks set up. But in the next video, we're getting this tank. We're gonna move these guys right back over to this tank. We're gonna possibly, I don't know, we'll see. I know that I wanna go ahead and, uh, and finish painting the rest of the walls while everything is covered. So that's something else that I plan on doing. So nonetheless, I told you this video was gonna be 60 minutes. It's a little bit over, I apologize for that. For those of you that stuck around, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are definitely the real fish fam so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something hope you enjoyed it hope it was entertaining don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell follow me on instagram at the fish corner follow me on facebook the fish corner follow me on tiktok the fish corner and guys i'm gonna catch you in that next one i hope you guys are looking forward to the next one guys peace